What's up, YouTube? Just Gav here, bringing you guys a brand new video up onto the channel. And I'm sure you guys, I don't know about you, but me, are not necessarily sick of seeing Helldivers 2 all over your YouTube, uh, TikTok, Twitter, and really all the social medias. But I was getting a little, not fed up, but I was like, what is, what is all the hype, the hoopla, and the, the, the gravitas about this game? Why is everybody having so much fun with it? You know, I'm not a big PvE guy, so I was kind of confused on why people were having fun shooting uh, uh, <laughs> robots, no pun intended, um, <laughs> and bugs. Obviously, the bugs are more fun to shoot than the robots. I'll just put that out there right now. And finally, I said, you know what? I guess I'll get the game, and we'll give it a go. We'll give it a try. We'll see what all the hoopla and the hype is about. So I did that. And uh, I think I think I finally understand why. When I was first watching the game, I was like, I'm not sure why people are so. What what is it? What is the hook? What is the about the game? Is it the engaging gunplay? Is it the engaging you know you know the the, the community based stuff? Is it the this and that? And then I was watching. I don't know if it was a video or a TikTok or a live stream. I'm forgetting. And somebody was looking for a mission to do. And they were going to different sectors and different planets, like, trying to decide. And it was showing how many people were on the planet actively playing. And, I, and, it, and it hit me. And I was like, wait a minute. There's a liberation percentage. There's people on the planet. Are all, is everybody fighting for the same goal, the same uh, war, the same galactic war come to find out? And yes, indeed. That's exactly what's going on, and that's what kind of finally sold me on the idea of getting... I was like, okay, let me try this out. This is very cool. I wouldn't. I don't know if it's unique, because I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen another game do this. I'll say unique, and let me try it out. Let me hop in and, you know, give it a go. Now, <laughs> let me let me get a the few, few of the bad things out of the way really quickly. The matchmaking is busted. You can't add your PC friends, because you send each other friend requests, and you hit accept, and it won't accept. Um... <laughs> the but you can't claim certain things in the ba the two battle pass type things. It won't let you. There, there's a bunch of bugs in the game right now that is annoying, and really hampers. The, oh, and not to mention the server space is taken up almost all day, every day because they didn't account for as many players that are playing the game right now. You know they they didn't know they they had no idea it was gonna pop off like this. So it's hard to even get in the game in the first place, and then try to play with your friends is also a hassle. So it, it's a bit. Uh, it's a bit of a headache right now. In order to play with your friends, you have to get extremely lucky when you're on your ship in adding them to the group. Or you have to select the mission, put uh, go on a planet, put down an SOS beacon. They then have to go to the same planet and look for your SOS beacon in order to join. It is such a hassle right now that it, it's almost, it, it almost makes you not want to play the game. I'm serious. Because it's just like, why am I playing with randos, grando? Like, anyways. I'm kind of I'm kind of ranting right now, but I just want to get the negative stuff out of the way, because in this gameplay, I'm actually playing with three randoms. This is my first time ever squatting up with four with three other people, and you know, trying to do a full clear of the of the map. And I think we do pretty good. I think we do pretty good. And uh, the grind is real. The grind is real. But this game, the from when you select the mission, the, the se mission select process, getting in your help pods, selecting your stratagems, dropping into the play. Like, it's so very, like, cinematic and engaging that it, that's kind of the hook of the game. Calling in your stratagems, which is one of the coolest things about this game. You could call in support. You have your own personal destroyer. You can call in gun runs, orbital strikes, barrages, L, uh, your own weapons, defensive turrets. And it's, it's the strategy that you could, in, you know, engage in when you're playing with four people. Your actual friends, not randoms is really interesting and in in mismatching and in mixing and matching your different uh your different loadouts really because that's what they are um it it it's, makes for very interesting gameplay you know what's crazy though the guns you have don't really that's not really your power system that's not the power system the weapons you carry your shotguns your lmg or well your assault rifles smgs pistols that's not even really the power system in this game the power system is stratagems and whatever call-in weapons, which are LMGs, uh, different kind of rifles and all kinds of stuff. So your guy is actually relatively weak 
compared to what he can he's capable of uh outside of what he's got on his got on him if that makes sense your gun your your primary your secondary are relatively weak compared to the lmgs and stuff you can call in as your third weapon and they're super weak compared to the stratagems you could call in so well-timed stratagems well-timed uh teamwork using your stratagems is really where this game shines and has some very cinematic moments and it, it, it it's awesome <clears throat> it's pretty sick like i said i'm not a big pve guy i've played a bunch of pve games the division and some others <laughs> i say a bunch and i name one <laughs> excuse me but i'm more of a pvp dude and this game i can only play for about four hours especially when you're playing by yourself pretty much um, until I'm like, okay, I'm I'm over it. Like, it, it gets repetitive for me. Now, if I had three other teammates and we're all in Discord and we're having a good time and we could do higher level stuff, I think the highest level I've done is like level four, level three or four. We're actually doing a level three in this in this video. Um, but I haven't gotten the chance to do the higher uh, difficulties yet, so maybe that's where the game will, will be more refreshing. But it gets a bit repetitive. The POIs are extremely repetitive. Um, so I think that 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 will ultimately, if they can keep content flowing, that'll help. If they can bring in new factions, that'll help. But man, they can't let they can't let a certain amount of time pass doing these same missions, these same POIs over and over and over and over again. Like it's gonna people are gonna get burned out relatively quickly. I can already start to feel it, and I've only played the game for like ten hours. I know that sounds crazy, but the progression. It's also it, this game. I'm super rambly. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't. I don't dice. I don't cut these videos up in the section and write scripts. I turn on and talk like a real person. No, that's no shot at nobody. I'm just you know making making an observation. Just just saying. Just saying. This game has some of the sneakiest deep progression I think I've ever seen in a video game. Because on the surface, it's like okay, you earn these points, you get XP, you level up, right? You get these medals to buy stuff. Uh, buy upgrades and buy stuff in the battle pass quote unquote it's not really a battle pass but it is and there's two of them okay cool you level up you buy these things in the battle pass you get these little you know samples and stuff and then you but when you go into your ship and start looking around your ship and going into like your module and all that the progression is kind of insane and extremely grindy especially when it comes to upgrading your ship we're trying to get samples because sample sample samples that's your biggest Metals and samples are the progression of the game. Samples you find around the map, you find common, uncommon, rare. I think there's, I think that's, I think there's three types, right? I think it's uncommon, common, rare, and something else. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But samples, earning medals from doing the missions, XP, your level only matters up to, I think, like level 20. And then beyond that, it's just, I think, I think the max level is 50. And beyond 20, though, it just, it's just, it's just whatever. But yeah, the medals. And the samples are really the big, big, big progression of the game. And the samples are extremely grindy because there's only a set amount you can get per match, which I think is 19 or 20. I think it's 19. So if you can find all 19 samples in one map, then you're doing really good. Because I, because I think it gives everybody 19 samples. I, I can't remember if it divvies them up between the four people or it gives everybody the same amount of samples. I think it, I think it might split it up between four people so if you're only getting four or five samples a match and you need i don't know say 60 for your first module upgrade you can see where the game gets extremely grindy and a lot of the module upgrades are 100 samples so do the math you're going to be playing a lot and grinding a lot which is a good thing it's giving you something to work towards but the gap is going to widen between the people who have, obviously, I mean, this is with any game, who have more time and who have less time. And will the people who have less time be able to keep up with everything that's going on? Right. That these are the questions we all have when we're playing new games, whether that be, you know, PvP, PvE, all that good stuff. But this game is a time warp. You play it. You play for an hour and four hours have passed. Yes, it's one of those games that you sink... You could sink hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours into. Honestly, the crazy part is the missions aren't even necessarily like the best part of the game. When you get done with your missions and it's time to extract and you're getting chased to your extract point and then you call in your ship and then the horde starts swarming where you're extracting. That's when, that's when it really shines for me because you call in all your defensive stratagems. 
You're doing airstrikes. You're all holding down a lane. The ship comes in. Ah, you're spraying down. You turn around, get on the ship, and it flies off as you're getting... So, like, that kind of stuff is pretty sweet and pretty awesome to me and where this game kind of kind of shines. But I'll tell you one thing, though. The automatons, I think they're called, I don't have fun fighting them at all. The bugs are way more entertaining, way more satisfying to kill, way more, like... uh not intimidating, because the automaton, the projectile-based enemies in this kind of game suck. Like, getting shot at from 100 meters away by automatons is terrible. Fighting the bugs is way more fun, because most of them are just melee. So, it gives you, like, they rush you. It's just a lot more uh, cinematic, in my opinion. I don't like fighting the automatons at all. At first, I was fighting the automatons almost exclusively. And I was like, well, you know what? Let me go try out the bugs. And ever since I started fighting the bugs, I don't even go back over to that part of the galaxy. Because why would I? Because it's not fun. Getting shot at by rockets and bullets. and get, It's not fun at all. Shoot, fighting the bugs is way more fun. So, yeah, I think I'm done rambling. I think I got all I need to get out. Now, there are some movement things that I don't like when you go into your jump, your your dive. Getting up out of your dive is really obnoxious and it has gotten me killed. Because you dive, then you're like spamming to get out of it. But it has to finish the animation. And then you have to get up and... I'm not a big fan. Healing doesn't always work. You can press the button four or five times and it doesn't work. And then it finally works. And then like you're trying to... It, there's there's a bunch of things they need to iron out. But, but the core in the gameplay is really good and really fun. So, I mean, that's what it's all about, really. That's what it's, that's what it's all about. They need to increase their server size... And uh, iron out some of these bugs and keep the content flowing. I think it will be will be good to go. So I'll leave you guys with the rest of the gameplay. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, comment. Well, do I leave you with the rest of the gameplay, or do I upload it by itself? Ooh, I I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. If you just gab guys, all the links are down in the description below. I should be live uh, as this video is up. So come check your boy out and uh, help. Help me! Help me! I think we'll be playing some more Helldivers. So, yeah, all links in the description below. Discord, Twitter, all that good stuff. Turn notification bell. Know when we go live, post videos, post shorts, and all that. And uh, I'll get the hell out of your guys' hair. Yeah, I, I never really know how to finish videos, except for being awkwardly. It's except for awkwardly doing so. So, <laughs> bye.